The maps feel good, the guns feel new. I'm gonna give you a Black Ops 2 review. I am over it flow. Let's get on a sniper roll. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? First things first, about the gameplay, or gameplays actually. These are one of the gameplays is sniping in hardpoint on a map called Meltdown. So that should be pretty fun to watch if you enjoy my tactical sniping, you know, strategies and stuff. And the second gameplay that you are going to see is going to be a short little shotgun clip on the map Nuketown 2025. It's going to be pretty cool, so I hope you guys enjoy it. But as for today, we're not going to be covering the gameplay as much, or this specific gameplay rather. We're actually going to be talking about Black Ops 2 as a whole, a Black Ops 2 review. And remember, if you enjoy the video at any time, feel free to leave a like. It's right there. You just got to go like this. Click. You leave a thumb, I will eat it later, and we're all good and happy. Everybody's good. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because, you know, I love that. I love hanging out with you guys, and that's what it is. But either way, let's go ahead and cover Black Ops 2. As you guys know, I have been posting shorter commentaries lately, and the reason for that, in all honesty, is because I've been no lifing Black Ops 2. I'm already, like, Prestige. I'm Prestige 1, level, like, 38 already, so... And it's only four or five days after release. I've been playing a lot. It's four days after release, actually. So I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 2. I've really been enjoying it. And I wanted to wait, you know, a few days until I had a good amount of time in the game before I gave you guys a review. Because I wanted to give you guys the best kind of review that you could get, you know, this early on. So, let's go ahead and cover the things that I personally do not enjoy about Black Ops 2, alright? We all know I'm a Triarch fanboy because Triarch, you always try hard, but... They have tried hard with this game, as you can see, if you guys are enjoying the game, you will know that they did a pretty good job, but there are some things that, you know, pester me a little bit, and I'd like to kind of call out, and maybe, you know, it could get fixed. Now, the first bad thing about this game is that there are, on occasion, bad spawns. They're, they're very reminiscent of MW3, and to me, that is unacceptable. There, you can't have spawns like MW3. I, I didn't believe that... The Modern Warfare 3 spawning system was very fair, and for Black Ops 2 to have the MW3 spawning system is not good. Now, mind you, that's, this is only in a few different game modes that it's like this. I noticed it in Domination. The spawns were a little bit wonky. I noticed it in Team Deathmatch a little bit here and there. And But the game is still relatively new, so I'm hoping that they will fix that. They will get that done, and they will fix that up. And, you know, I, I'm, I have faith that they'll come through with that. Now, the second bad thing is the laggy bullet death. When you're shooting at somebody and you feel like you shoot them five times, they turn around and shoot you once, and you get dead, you get dead. That's not cool. I don't personally enjoy that, and it's just a minor problem. It was kind of like that in MW3 and in Black Ops, but in this game, um, I, I wouldn't say it happens as often, but it, it's still a definite noticeable thing that will bother a lot of people. So I'm sure that if they can tune up the lag a little bit, and it's not laggy at all, don't get me wrong guys, it's just that sometimes you'll be shooting somebody and they'll turn around and kill you in what seems like one bullet. And that's not cool. The third and final bad thing that I'm going to cover today is the maps. The maps, honestly, they all look great, they all play very, they're very fun to play, but the thing is for a sniper like myself, the maps are all really small. Now I've seen a lot of people saying, Oh, sniping's hard in this game? What are you guys talking about? Sniping is the easiest it's ever been. And that is not true whatsoever. Maybe sniping, as in shooting your rifle, shooting your sniper rifle, is easy. Because it is. It's easier than in Black Ops. It's probably more reminiscent of the COD 4 days, to be honest. But it's by no means easy. And when I'm talking about sniping, I'm talking about sniping in the back, the, the way that a sniper would want... The way a sniper would like to snipe if he was sniping on a sniper map in the back that's how I like to snipe as you can see I've been camping out in this room because I like to snipe this way it's to me it's a more real way and it's more fun to me and that's just my personal preference and I wish that there were more maps that were a little bit just a little bit bigger so they didn't feel so cluttered because as of right now I think SMGs will run the game if it continues to go about this now we're almost to the halfway point of the video so I'm gonna go ahead and switch topics we're gonna go ahead and cover the good points of Black Ops 2. Now, mind you, there are going to be way more good points than bad points because I love Black Ops 2 so far. It's probably, it is on track to be one of my favorite Call of Duty games ever. So, as far as what's good, there is no BS in this game. There's nothing that happens that you're like, oh my gosh, you know, I didn't deserve to die at that point, unless it's that lag, uh, laggy bullet death. But, there's nothing that happens where you're like, oh, you know, I was supposed to defeat that guy and I got killed. There's no martyrdom, no dead man's hand, no last stand. No BS tactics like that. There's nothing where you'll defeat another player and yet they can still come back 
from the grave, if you will. There's nothing like that going on, so there's very, very limited... I would say there's no BS in this game, um, except for the very few times when you get killed by, you know, lag or whatever the case may be. And uh, that's about it. There's no BS. The health and damage to me is perfect. I did not like MW3 because you died in like if what felt like two or three bullets all the time. In this game, it takes a little, a little bit more bullets to kill, but to me, that's a lot better because I think that it changes the skill level. You know what I mean? It makes the good players be able to defeat the corner campers who hide in the corner, wait for you to run by, they'll shoot you twice. In MW3, they would have killed you, but in this game, shooting you twice won't do much. You can. Have the time to jump, swivel, turn, dash, roll, drop to the ground, do a front flip, and then shoot them, and you can still win. If you got the skill level to do that stuff and pull that kind of stuff off, then you'll be able to do it. As of right now, the guns all see, uh, seem very awesome. There are some guns that stand out a little bit from the pack, but to be honest, every gun has its own little unique attributes that make it different from the rest of the class. And so I think that all guns are going to be viable options in this game. And I don't think one gun is going to stand out incredibly like in Modern Warfare 3 where the ACR and MP7 were clearly the best guns. Or in Black Ops where the FAMAS was the best gun. The death machine that I'm pulling out right now actually, hold on. I'm going to put away my iPad and pull out a death machine. That gun is going to be the best gun. <laughs> no, it's pretty awesome though. I'm really loving the kill streaks. The kill streaks are geared towards better players. There's higher kill streaks for the good players. And to me, I like that because it means that unless you spend a little bit of time in the game, you're not going to be able to get good kill streaks unless, you know, you actually dedicate a little bit of time to learning the maps and learning how to do it. And now we, we switch gameplays over to the shotgun gameplay. And some of you might have seen I put it up as a clip because I thought it was awesome. But I needed a little bit more time for this video. So here it is again. There is. A place for all play styles, I think, because you can, in some games, like in Modern Warfare 3, the maps were so small that, you know, SMGs run it. And in this game, I'm worried that that might be the case with some maps, but for the most part, there is a place for all play styles. Everybody has their own thing that they can do. I can snipe and I want, if I want, I can snipe out a lot of maps in this game. Some of them are a little bit small and faster paced, which I don't really care for, but I can still snipe. Shotguns have their place in the tight corners of this game, SMGs have their place in the shorter ranges, and assault rifles and LMGs have their place in the long ranges. So there's a place for all play styles in this game. Objective players, now let's move on, blah 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 blah. Objective players are heavily rewarded for capping flags, for getting tags, for doing stuff like that, for capping the hardpoint. And hardpoint, by the way, is an awesome game in my opinion. And now, let's move on, spawns don't suck completely. That's what I wrote down right here. <laughs> Spawns don't suck completely, which is pretty true. They are sometimes questionable, but they're a thousand times better than in Modern Warfare 3. And I'm sure with a little bit of fine-tuning, the spawns will be some of the best that we have ever seen. And that's how I feel. The knife is heavily nerfed in Black Ops 2. Yes, there is still a lunge at times, but for the most part, I hardly get killed by a knife. Even in close quarters, most of the time, I will never get killed by a knife. And people just tend to shoot instead. Sometimes I'll see a guy try to go for a panic knife or something, and he doesn't hit it at all because the game has hardly any lunge, except in rare circumstances, so that's how it is. And the final great thing about Black Ops 2, the maps and graphics look awesome to me. Everything looks very clean, and the guns just look amazing, I think, especially with the camos. Blue Tiger camo, Cherry Blossom camo, all look really good. And, you know, overall, I'm really going to enjoy Black Ops 2, I believe, and I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. So, that's my review of Black Ops 2. Maybe I'll do another one in the future after like six months or something like that. But as of now, this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, it took a little bit of time to get this stuff together. Theater mode was being glitchy, all this stuff. So if you guys enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed the channel, make sure to leave a like. It really helps me out. It makes me feel really good. It lets me know that my work is appreciated here. And if you're new to the channel and you want to hang out for more awesome Black Ops 2 stuff, or you just want to hang out with me, I'd really appreciate that. So feel free to hit that subscribe button if you would like to. And other than that, I'm, I appreciate you watching the video. I love you guys, and I'm over it. And out.